Okay, we'll start from here. Um, that's a nice screen to open up on. See Virgil and Nero and stuff, yeah. It's pretty cool. I like Virgil's design in this. I like how they aged him and they kind of like changed his coat and stuff. That's pretty cool. They muted like a lot of his tones so it's not pure blue. Because that gradually became more and more Nero's color as well because of the like whole father-son gimmick. Nice design, but um, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like it works for him though, I, I don't, I, I'm not really sure if I have a preference, I think Virgil looks cool and everything. Jamie can't play as him yet, but anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't uh, recorded much for a while. After the RE2 playthrough and all of the editing and all of that shit, I was like, oh, well, I've done it, and it's actually, like, the, th I want to say the 15th, so Doom Eternal's not come out yet, so I'm kind of just, like, you know, those parts will come out, and it will still be coming out well into Doom Eternal being released, but, like, um, I'm just kind of bored, and I wanted to talk dumb bullshit, and just mess around for a bit because I have a load of free time. I'm still trapped indoors because I'm still stuck in China, coronavirus, quarantine at this point. And I ain't got nothing else to do but play old video games and talk bullshit over them. So last time we played Dante, we saw a lot of my Dante stuff or Dante stuff being done badly by me. I would do V, but we'd be here about five hours because it's pretty hard for me to lose with V because V's a pretty easy character to, because you're always keeping him away from everybody. So yeah, it's like 50, 60, it's like up there. Let's see how far I got on this save, but I'm not, I don't want to play as him straight away because then it's a lot of work editing for me. <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, I've just done all the editing for RE2 badly. So I got to 59 with him, and that was the first time I, was, uh, I unlocked Bloody Palace on this save. I went, oh yeah, I'll just pick up V and we'll get into Bloody Palace. I love Bloody Palace. We'll just do it to grind some red orbs, and literally without even really trying, I got to this stage. So that's well over half. I'm assuming there's 100 on this Bloody Palace, but sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. You can see the background changes to show how far you've gone. But I want to do something at first, a little more up close kind of thing, so you can tell if I've done Dante, I don't want to play V, I'm going to be playing as Nero, standard costume Nero. I like the EX colors sometimes, but like, it's no big deal right now. Should be the remix music, you can see I've barely used Nero. <laughs> I think I tried him once without really doing much, <laughs> it was like, Oh, and like died to like the first boss or something. <laughs> it was just like, oh well, you know. I like Nero. I like Nero's playstyle. I just don't feel it as much as I feel Dante's, you know. That's just a personal thing. You can still see I need to buy one of the purple orbs. But we're also going to have a look at see if there's anything cooler that we can buy. Because getting extended health bars, just, or devil trigger bars, just... It's not as fun as getting a new move, you know what I mean? So we've got charge shots, which, again, fun. Or we could get some devil trigger shit. Devil bringer shit, I should say. That's always on. Yeah, where's the trigger? Am I blind? Oh, is it under devil bringer? Yeah. So you can see I've got the two supers already. We've got the projectile. Projectile's maximum bet, right? Yeah. So that's that. You can see on the little screen. And we've got showdown. I tend to pull off showdown more often because I'm. It's just more interesting to look at. Uh, I don't know if it's better. <laughs> like, you know, I just. Look, it looks cool, okay? I want to look like a cool guy. So I nearly have enough to um, extend the health bar, but I could uh, increase the amount of breakers to seven. It's not even max yet. Mm. Got all of the stuff for the uh, Red Queen. Just get that charge shock, just top that off. I think there might be another charge after that. We'll see if I do it. Oh, there's an enemy step which would be useful, but I'm an asshole who hates myself. Oh, I can't afford it anyway. Let's just get this. We're just, we're just filling stuff out. Wow. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, that was another one. Yeah, I'm just trying to like get the get the sphere grid on block, you know? <laughs> just everything's unblocked. I've got all of the moves, because that was where I was before. Uh before my save data got wiped because yeah. You only got you gotta be a PS plus subscriber if you wanna actually save your data from PlayStation's cataclysmic meltdowns on occasion. Trust me, if you live in a humid climate and you're playing in summer and there's too much dust, <laughs> you know, it's just boom, and you're like, oh, great, I've now lost all my data. Shouldn't be a paid service, man. Even backing it up to a USB drive is like, I'm pretty sure they block it unless you're, oh, I'm not going to say inaccurate shit and get mad. Um, let's see, I do like ragtime. Localized time stop is cool. But I don't really use it all that much. Punchline's cool. I don't really like Rawhide, I'm sorry Rawhide fans. Kinda like Overture because it's simple and it's easy to get the hang of. I like Tomboy but I don't use it that much. Gerber is just obviously really useful. Uh, I've never been a big fan of Helter Skelter but I see the utility. I just kind of mix with them in the game. In the game, I don't actually buy any like arms. What I do instead is just pick them up and just literally it's a recruit. I'm like procure on site over here so you know I do that kind of thing instead because it's just yeah oh let's just fuck it let's just show off ragtime a little bit if people are new to this game they'll be like oh look it's a thing this is a world oh oh I didn't charge anything shit I forgot <laughs> nearer is the guile <laughs> charge everything don't really have to for these guys Oh, doing this horribly. There we go. Yeah, you can tell it's been a while. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? What the f oh, yeah, it's a good job these are easy. I'm burning through time. Is this just... What the fuck am I doing? There we go, that's the button. When I was last playing this, I was max acting all the time, and now I can barely fucking do the standard shit. Oh, this is going to be hard. Depends on how quickly I get my eye in, right? Okay. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a spicy... Yeah, there we go. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I can kill the jobbers. Kill the jobbers in about a second or so, so that's not bad. Seven seconds. Okay. Oh, I should have used my... Still remembering his moves. Yeah, I need to drop kick some... I need to drop kick somebody in this LP. I don't care. Maybe full LP of DMC5 on a hard difficulty? If you wanted to see me get wrecked by Virgil 1600 times. Because I'm just shit against Virgil. <laughs> I kind of get it though. I got it a lot more now that I've done it about three or four times, you know. Oh, 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 drop combos. Yeah, roulette. You can kind of see some stuff he's got, and he's got a little bit of stuff he can do in the air, which is kind of nice because, like, until this game, it was a little bit harder to. I found to do stuff with the air with Dante. Da Dante. Donkey. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't, if I fuck up speaking, I fuck up doing that as well. Full DT. Didn't feel like I really needed it for those guys. Oh, wow. Fucked up the roulette spin. There we go. Whoa. Why did I jump? Boom. So, I stole this, I saw a lot of LPs move the trigger to literally the right trigger, so like, the blue rose is on the right trigger, it means it's so much easier to just hold it down, there we go, when they're pulling the swords out and they go do 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 and they have the red thing, you just one hit kills them, so, 
is straight up a secret mission based around that if you've played the game and done all the missions. Um, but I almost totally forgot. Um, you can parry them, and if it breaks the scissors, uh, you, you know, if you clash parry, um, you can immediately hit them for like an instant kill, and that's really good for these timed things and stuff, it just wipes them out faster, you don't have to deal with them. As an enemy, they're not too difficult to deal with for long periods of time, it's just they have big health bars and you're just wasting time, so these guys... Okay, come on. Do the thing. Oh, who is that to? <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm actually mashing the... Um... There we go. Mashing the left trigger trying to get the exceed to come off. I'm going to have to get into a room. I don't play Nero enough to get good at Nero. Nero is a lot of timing based stuff, so... See? you got to... There we go. But you really want to max act on that. That's not max act. Well, there we go. <laughs> also, I've done nothing with Ragtime. I've not used a single breaker so far, so we're going to start using the uh, breakers now. I don't know who that was, too. Oh! I was going to try and do a caliber straight after, I didn't know if you can do that, <laughs> or if it forces you to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Still alive. Interessant. Really trying to show off the breakers to you guys, but I'm too busy having fun throwing people around. <laughs> What I love about Nero is you can throw everyone around and it's like they got like different throws for each enemy and it's like aerial ones that like oh yeah it's just it's just the shit man. Don't know why I have to do that. Um Yes. I did the thing. I just kind of realized I was pressing too many buttons and <laughs> the game was like, sure, we'll do this. Let's actually do combo to nobody. <laughs> Don't know if the music's coming through, but um, the verse is kicked in. The time has come, and so have I. Throw these guys around. Throw animation is a little long for these dudes. It's the same as the one in four for the reptile enemies in that one, where they swing them around by the tail. It's kind of neat. I still haven't drop kicked anyone, so failed LP. Oh man. So just getting my eye in at the moment. Just using this as an excuse to talk dank bullshit again. So I thought, lol. I haven't talked on my uh, LP channel about all the dank bullshit that's happened to me lately. <laughs> Not lately, just as in more recent than college. Because there was dank bullshit in college, dank bullshit in my teens. Dank bullshit in my childhood. I'm like, hey man, you can't leave a modern day. <laughs> Present day! <laughs> Present day dank bullshit. Now, what would that be? Ooh, time to taunting. Oh, that's, that's good. I like that. I like that. But I'm too distracted by the hype, so. We're just gonna. Aerial pile drives him. <laughs> oh, shall I double trigger? If this guy grabs me, I'll double trigger. Oh, these guys gotta go. No, not you. You can go, but. It's really about the green guys. Green guys, there we go. Assholes. No! Stop it! Stop healing everyone! Oh, that's the wrong guy. Never mind. I need to get better at cycling. I'm always scared that I'm going to put it on auto mode by accident because I forget which one is cycle target and which one is changed to auto mode, which just, no. Oh! You douche! 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. Summon swords, bish. Oh, he's got a lot of health. I should have been focusing on him a little more. Balls. Ooh! You! You! I don't care. I'll tank the damage. Just damage DPS for his DPS for his. We'll just keep doing it. He's dead. That's what matters. I need to talk more. Should I tell dank stories? I mean, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. When you do this, like these, when you do these, when you do these, missions and they leave you all of these and it's like this it's basically telling you you're not using your breakers enough if you've not broken a single breaker just break them for style points just bring them up just to cycle through them because every like what wave is this like stage 11 or oh, next is stage 11 so like every couple of stages you're getting more breakers now because it's early it's like oh, okay yeah fine but like it's kind of annoying when you're halfway through a mission and it's like you're drowning in like a hundred breakers or like the max amount of breakers and you're like oh that that battle i just came through would have been much easier if i'd remembered that breakers exist and it's like it literally is a whole quarter of the screen telling you i just completely forget about them and instead of breaking ones i don't want to get to another one which is I guess a tactic. Oh! Oh! I thought I could grab you! You notice as well, weird habits that I have is snatching still with the wire snatch. I don't know if they have any values that are different. Just thought they're functionally the same. I don't know if one has better range or better, like, strength. Ooh, hee <laughs> hee, bang. Yee, didn't take a hit. I'm the winner, me. Oh shit, I forgot to. Oh, it's you guys, the Sonic guys. I guess, yeah, if I'm going to talk dank bullshit, I should talk over things where it's like it's going to be buried. <laughs> you know, like, it's going to be buried on my fucking channel. On, like, some video that nobody's going to bother watching. That, oh, well, you could just say that about my whole YouTube channel. Hey. They did excellent work on the remixes for uh, old tracks in the new. Just using the standard combo a lot. I really like the swishy one though. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. That's the cool one. I think you have duh, duh, duh. Just the smash, smash, smash. Which is fun. You have other ones. Those are like the top two I use because they're the easiest to remember. <laughs> and they've been in you know, the games before. And like, I, I just like the number three the most. <laughs> Ooh. Slow motion. No, normal. So you can do wrestling moves on humanoid sheep, guys. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, I took too long on that. Oh, I thought he was going to do a follow up. See 
that. I thought you had it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I win. I win. Let's see. Dank bullshit. Yes, I have a list of dank bullshit that I'm like, I need to talk about the dank bullshit. <laughs> nah, some of it's not dank. <laughs> So, this is really just like, only I find these things interesting, right? Uh, because like, it's only going to affect me, so I'm just like, I'm. you don't understand how excited I am for this kind of information, because if you're not like somebody who lives abroad, you're just like, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> but like, so, if you're the kind of guy who lives abroad, and has like, you know, and is literally an expatriate, as in every sense of the word, you have moved away from your country in terms of politics, ideal, or you just have no interest in repatriating. So the actual tradition term of expatriate, which is similar to just self-exile, essentially, that's what expatriate used to mean, where you've literally turned from your country and said, I don't want to be here anymore, I will find another place to live. And now it's used for any any twat on a gap here who's like, oh, I've come to see how these savage non-whites work. I was on a geography course. And yes, I've actually worked with people like that who are like, oh, these Cantonese people seem fascinating, don't they? And I'm like, oh my god, you just need the hat, man. <laughs> you know, you just need the living stone hat. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't think guys like you existed. And he was an asshole. Anyway, not talking about him, because he really pissed me off a lot of the time. He had ridiculous attitudes towards stuff and thought he was right all of the time. It was really fucking stupid. Much like me. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you hate being reminded of yourself. Those guys are a problem. Those enemies of Behemoth. Love that they're all named after demons. Because I'm like, hey, they're named after that band I like. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh no, they're named after the demon that the band took the name from. <laughs> ooh, Gorgoroth's in this game. <laughs> like, ooh, Behemoth. <laughs> oh, man. If you like metal, you may also like Devil May Cry. And Doom. Hey, man. I also like Pokemon. Still got to work on that all-poison team. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? This only, you know, this only really is something that people will care about. Oh, these guys are a problem. So we just murder them. Come on, blow up my thing. I want to change, showcase some weapon. But I don't want to blow them up because it feels wasteful. <laughs> I want them to blow it up for me, thus forcing me to take damage. Zawalda! How many stabs can I create in the stopped time? Oh, there's another one. Mother, 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 mother! like in a certain state to be thrown. The stronger character, stronger enemies have to be in a certain state for you to be able to grab them. You see it bounces off. He's got like a froggy mask. That's so cool. They all have masks. You see that one? <laughs> it's like he's got a froggy mask. Slow down this video. Look at the froggy mask. Oh, amazing. Maybe it's a deliberate Star Fox. <laughs> He oh, looks like a frog! Come on now. Sorry. I feel like I've become the Ross Noble of like LPs where I just lose track and go, <laughs> look at the shiny, and then just 
you know, never get around to my original point. It must be deeply frustrating for certain people to listen to this. But yeah, like, um, talking about expatriate and what expatriate used to mean and what repatriate means, it's really fascinating as an expat. Because, uh, yeah, those things used to have way more severe meanings. Shot in the face. I like that the gun, his gun does stuff. His gun's not a little pew pews. It actually, like, they beefed it in this game. They beefed it hard. It used to be pretty good, and now it's really good, and it just, like, feels, if you've got a good sound system, it just feels the soundscape. Just, and you're just like, oh, that did some fucking, and they're exploding everywhere. It's awesome. That's a gun. Look at that. Look at that shit. Oh, I don't want you to get into your bullshit. Zawaldo! Oh. Yeah! Oh god, I'm a weeb. I'm a weeb. Oh, the aerial throw with him is sick! Yeah! I'm such a nerd and I don't care! Oh! Yeah! wasn't stylish, but it's harder to style on one guy who teleports a lot. And so like I was saying, um, this is only interesting to people who plan on living in like abroad. And now if you're British and you're listening, you'll be aware that we can't just go over to Europe like we used to, or probably can't. I'll have to check the rules on this now. People don't think about this, because most people don't think about this in general, because it's like, oh, you're going to have to have a lot of money for this to work. But buying a home abroad, you don't actually have to have a lot of money for this. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Come back. I want the bonus. I'm grinding for the orbs. Yeah, but buying a house abroad, you, you'd think, oh, yeah, like, I guess if you go over to another country and you live there, you must be able to... No. Like, maybe New Zealand, but I think they've changed their laws recently. Australia, I think you have to be a citizen first. I'm not really sure, but it changes place to place, is what I'm saying. The EU, it used to be, if you're in the EU, you can pretty much buy a house anywhere else in the EU, which meant a lot of wealthy Brits were buying houses in Spain and, like, maybe Italy, I can't remember. France, places like that, and, you know, the wealthy middle classes were buying second homes. Probably another reason why the wealthy middle class has decided that we're not allowed to, like, be part of the EU anymore because they were probably sat there like, oh, well, this will raise the value of my property out in Spain. Now they'll be forced to buy off of my timeshares and all of this shit. But, like, um... So this doesn't work on him. So you have to use a breakage. That's why I was saving it. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. This is punchline. If you've never seen punchline. Yes. <laughs> Surfing my arm. Oh, fuck me. No. Luckily, it didn't break my uh, arm. I thought my arm was still out. Haha! <laughs> evasion! Bad evasion straight into another hand. Amazing! Yeah! Oh shit. <laughs> That's why you pay attention. Now, I like Overture because it's one of the ones I don't care about breaking. And it has a great breakage, which is just, I make bomb. Oh. <laughs> you make bomb if you win. Anyway, yeah, so um, let's talk about house prices. Uh, being able to buy houses is actually like, you have to have a right, and the governments change if you have the right to buy a house, depending on their deal with you, with your country. So 
You can't necessarily just waltz into another country and go, I want to live here now. I've bought a house, and now all I need to do... Oh, shit. I'll shut up for a second. Yeah. No! Oh, I died on the boss again. That's what I get for talking about property. Yeah, it's not like you just get like, oh, I'm a citizen of the world. I'm British, I'm American, I'm Vietnamese, I'm Japanese, or oh, I just go over to America, buy a house. It's like, you, it's not that simple. You actually have to, like, certain countries have, depending on how they deal with your country. So in China, I can buy a house, but they're kind of expensive here, and they're not particularly great, and a lot of them, I've said before, don't really comply with building regs, and the government has this great thing about going, hey, we're gonna buy this property off of you. And like for Chinese citizens, here's a ridiculously high price to clear out of this property because the government wants to buy it back. Okay, if you're foreign, here's a really low price. Um, I think it's worth more. Oh, do you? Here's my gun. <laughs> like, you know? Uh, and it's like, probably not that much like the gun is there, but the gun is implied. You're a foreigner. Get the fuck out of my country. We will deport you, and then the house is ours anyway, you know? Um, they're not particularly fair. In Korea and Hong Kong and Japan, the houses, and Singapore, the houses are astronomic in price. You can buy them. They're just so expensive, it hurts. So, yeah, that's a problem. So, oh no, I didn't upgrade the, the, the V.